Hey guys, welcome to the Lumber Pro HD36. Step by step build. Now, before I show you where we're at, that's what it'll look like. We got the trailer version. And this company uh, is based out of Ontario, but they have a headquarters in Boston as well. And we're doing this because the weather is spring here in the Rocky Mountains, Southern Rockies. And it's muddy. That's good for chickens. It's not really good for doing much else outside. Let's see if we can get some cool close up out there. See how up higher there's some clouds and maybe snowing. Uh, and there's a winter storm warning. Which is why we're inside and we're making a sawmill. <laughs> Boom! There it is. It's just laid out. We haven't really put anything together because I want to take you through the steps. And when you build something like this that comes in 187 boxes. Now we bought this two years ago on sale and we've been storing it outside. Nothing got damaged. Some of the blades, which you can see up here, are a little rusty. But all we have to do is cut wood with them and that rust will go away. Also, throw a little steel wool on it. So you're looking at hundreds of boxes. You can see I've already gone through many of them. And you can see most of the main rail. Now the sawmill we have, these are four foot sections between ribs, which is where the logs go on. You can see that there's only 12 feet out here, 16 if you count that. Our deck is 24 feet long. <laughs> so I gotta spread this baby out some more and move some stuff around. Now, let me put this down. And we'll just go over a couple things that I think are important. You bear with me, I'll go get the manual. <coughs> because I want to share a few things that are important. Now, this book is very thick. Look at it. It's hundreds of pages of technical drawings and this is not an easy build. There's hundreds of numbers and associated hardware, so you really have to take your time. You have to have the book there with you. And once you figure everything out, when you get your mill, the first thing you want to become familiar with is all the fasteners. So they have a chart here of all the fasteners that come. There are tens of thousands of fasteners and you want to start at the beginning which is what I did I started by assembling the main ribs you're looking at a rib <clears throat> now if you're an adult and you're doing this giant erector set see each of these ribs weighs like a hundred pounds <laughs> no more like 60 but you want to make sure that the nuts are all facing the right direction all one side here. They've designed this so that the nuts have a, a rim here that they could potentially fall on if they come off. So stick with the design. Take it step by step. And when you're putting bolts together like this, machine bolts, it's almost uh, just like putting on a tire. You want to put them on alternating and you want to tighten them alternating. All you need to do that is a nice socket set, a good wrench set for what I'm doing. So you want to tighten diagonally as if you're putting or tightening a new tire on. And then when you do these, I would alternate as well. I'd go bang, 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 or bang, 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 bang. Um, you also want to loose fit everything. So don't tighten it until it's all loosely hand fit, which is why I wear these rubber gloves. So I can get a good, nice snug fit first, and then I go back uh, once I know it's assembled correctly and tighten everything. So, if you didn't see that because the angle was bad, I simply alternate tightening regimes. Now, we're about to move on to the next big step, <coughs> which is bi building the frame for the mill. So, I have it all laid out and I've been rereading and reading the sections because this is going to take a lot of hardware. It's going to take lots of nuts and bolts and lots of time. 
It's a giant erector set. So Leah's gonna help with the project, uh, assembling and tightening. Um, additionally, when we get this baby together, all 24 foot long, it's gonna weigh a ton. And then I have to pick it up and put the axle on, and then we gotta put the wheels on. See them over there? Then we gotta put the outriggers on. Then we gotta build the sawmill on top of it. So the next video will show you how we assembled the box frame and tightened it up, which will be just this, only twice as long. And then we'll show you how we're gonna suspend it from the ceiling of the garage here and simply use a come along to lift it up so that we can bring it up and get the axle under there, put the wheels on. And we'll just finish up the first episode here with this. This is the masterpiece. That's the Vanguard 23 horsepower engine that will be driving the mill. It looks amazing. It sat outside for two years. It gets delivered completely drained of oil. There's the drive shaft. So it should, uh, we got the upgrade. It comes with 18 horse. We got the 23 horse upgrade. Now we're gonna be milling mostly pine, so that baby is gonna cut through our logs like butter. We don't have much hardwoods up here, uh, but we do have an amazing cacophony of pine. And up at Oppenheimer Ranch, which for those of you that don't know, <coughs> we have tons of mixed spruce and um, blue spruce, Doug fir, white fir. Battery's getting low. So continue watching. Hopefully this will progress quickly. And again, what we're working on, this is gonna be our version right here that we're building right in here, the Lumber Pro HD36. If you wanna Google that, there'll be links below to Norwood. If you were to get the US equivalent of this, which would be, uh, let's say a wood miser, you're looking at $40,000 for something like this. And I'm gonna put it together for probably under 13 grand and start it up. And this will produce $13,000 worth of wood in the first two months. That's how you do that. Hope you got something out of the video. Any questions to the uh, start of this build, leave them below. And I even got this awesome hat. It only costs 13 grand. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Subscribe, share, like, do all that stuff. That's boom.